Okay, who out there wants to know how to become a decor hoarder? Just come along with me and I'll show you how it's done. store. Look at this nice sign here. Be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Very nice. This is vacuum packed. Ooh, look at that magic. Magic. back I did some damage again in the States uh, all three tattered tulips my favorite stores and I feel like it's really unfair when I talk about it because if you don't live in the New York area or if you don't want to travel from wherever you live in Canada or Ontario you know it makes it difficult but I do know that a lot of the things that tattered tulip has a lot of the American um, like uh, decor stores have. I've seen so many things that look very similar to these items because, you know, they buy it at, at a special place, all the stores. So I think more or less I'm giving you an idea. It's not the exact item. I mean, a lot of the things that I buy, you, you, you know, there's so many duplicates of all these things. So I'm going to start off with something that I found in the barn. And... Uh, I went mental there because when I looked on the side of the barn, because it is a barn, they have a lot of barn wood, um, aged old windows, doors. I went mental. I mean, they're not in good condition, most of them. So I, a few of them were good. There were still the glass panes inside, but I love that look. I remember a long time ago, um, up north, I went to a store, actually where Goldie Hawn lives. Yeah, Kurt Russell. And we just missed them. We went into a bakery and we just missed them by half an hour, Kate Hudson. Because they used to have a cottage up there. I think they've sold it by 
and moved away too many onlookers. So anyway, going back to the story, because I ramble, there was a little town there, little shops, and I did buy an old window um, with the glass panes. And I put in the garage, maybe 20 years ago, I, this happened, and my ex-husband had thrown it out by mistake. He didn't, he thought it was junk. So I always loved those windows. I always imagined who looked through those windows hundreds of years ago. Anyway, I think I'm a romantic at heart. I love all that stuff. Anyway, okay, here we go again. So what I found was, I've been wanting an old shutter. And I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna probably paint it, distress it, use it as a, maybe a backdrop or, because I don't have a lot of wall space anymore, but who knows what I do with it. So anyway, I found one, a little bit bad, a little bit bad shape. It was painted green, I guess. Anyway, so, and, and also just to let you know, hold on. So here's the, the old shutter. I washed it down, it was quite dirty, and I'm going to paint it. I'm gonna have fun doing that. And then I bought this old doorknob at Hobby Lobby for $10. It's really heavy. I'm gonna to have to get my son to secure this with nails because I think this is a bit loose. I glued it with ease, 6,000, but whatever, that's probably not gonna hold it. So I love it because it's old and I like, I wonder who used it on their house. So I know this is a doorknob. It really shouldn't be on here, but I want it to look very vintage and I don't care. It's decor, right? You can do whatever you want with it. It cost $12, so I thought it was a good find. Now that I'm into the hunt of the vintage uh, Crocs, I don't want a lot. I think I'm maybe another one and that's it. I don't want a whole collection of them. I have nowhere to put them all. But I found this one for a tabletop and it's not a real one. It was also at the Tattered Tulip and I think it was at the Mercantile. I found it sitting in a corner and I go, wow, I like that. And then I look inside and there's a crack, a big crack and it says, as is, $6. And I thought, well, that's not gonna stop me because I can glue it <laughs> just so it doesn't break any, you know, it break anymore because I'm gonna put something in it anyway. So how cute is that? Farmhouse stoneware. See all these things, you don't have to go to a specific store. You can find these things in all these country decor stores. If you're all interested to see what I bought again, you're probably thinking, where does that girl put all this stuff? And why does she spend so much money? Well, lo and behold, that's what we do, right? And I get everything discounted. I don't really pay full price on a lot of things or I make things. But the odd time you'll have to buy, if you want something special, you'll have to pay for it, right? So I went into Burlington Coat Factory to return something and I found this on clearance, four dishes, like four plates. And I just love, I love this, what is it called? Hobnail? I always wanna say hobnob. It's hobnail or hobnob. Anyway, you know, you Americans know what it is. So four of them for $6.99 and they're in good shape. Then I found this at the Tattered Tulip, and this is a sign for my bathroom. I finally found one. You know, it's your typical saying, wash, brush, floss, and flush. I just like the design of it, and the colors are nice. So in the barn, in the Tattered Tulip, I found the peaches. Finally, I've been looking for fake peaches, and they look pretty good. Could take a bite out of them. I should have bought more. I was just thinking three is enough for a little bowl. I don't know. I just like it for decor. I guess I could put it in. No, see, it doesn't fit in that kind of a bowl. Now it has to be in a bigger, or you can just put it on a plate, add it to whatever, still good. Add some straw at the bottom, whatever. And this little guy I found really sweet in the wedding section at Hobby Lobby, a little stainless steel bucket with some baby's breath, and it was half price, so $5. Okay, so I've been looking for an old straw bag. Of course, I can't find any, the size that I want. And I found one in the vintage floor, or the antique floor at the barn. And it was, I think, 18 or $19. And it's got some leather straps on it. Perfect for future decor on the wall, or I could even use it. So now this is something that was like, I couldn't believe I found them. Old spindles. Look at these babies. I love them when I see people decorate with them and they look pretty used. <laughs> I'm not going to paint them. I'm going to leave them alone, but I'm going to probably put them in a basket on the fireplace. And they were $10. 
My dad would have said, what are you spending good money for that junk for? I could have ripped some off the back porch for you. <laughs> so I went to Target and I needed another picture. Yeah. A girl can't have too many white pictures. Anyway, I like this shape and the style and the size and it was on sale for 16. I'm, I'm going all over the place. I'm not telling you exactly what, you know, the, I'm not gonna go on about, I bought everything at Tattered Tulip. I'm just gonna mix it all up, it's okay. And this I bought at Tattered Tulip at the Mercantile. And like I said, I have this wood thing I bought at the, the Salvation Army and I wanna paint it and distress it and I needed another one to go with it. Different levels, different lengths. So I found that and I think it was 10, 10 no, 13.95. And these are so cuties. They weren't cheap though. They were like $8.95 for one cup, but I just bought two for, you know, for my, um, my hooks on my coffee bar. Cause I love this white bubbly hobnail, hobnob. <laughs> I gotta look it up so I can say it right from now on. So I got two of those. Nobody better break them or they're dead neat. So I found a white, a really cute white rug. I don't really, I love the look of these things, but they slide all over the place unless you put, you know, like one of those things underneath. I could put it in my bathroom, but I thought I would use it another runner on my coffee table. Or I could put it, fold it a certain way and put it, it's pretty soft, pliable. I could fold it and put it in uh, the basket on my fireplace. And I think that was $60.99, which I thought was a good price because it's so cute with all the tassels. Okay, I threw these guys on the floor. This pillow here I got at Burlington, and I think it was $16.99, and it was a good price, and I like the little tassels. And of course, you know, I like the neutral color. Sorry that I'm using my feet here. I'm trying to hold my camera. And this one I bought at the Tattered Tulip. I've been looking for a round pillow with these baubles, these big pom-poms on it. They're not easy to come by. Anyway, it did cost me a lot of money. It was $40. I never pay $40 for a pillow but I wanted the look of this pillow for my bedroom, I think. Hope it matches. And this one's also at the Mercantile at the Tattered Tulip. So I went into Joanne's. I'm not sure what's going on with that store. It's really empty unless nothing's being shipped or they're closing down. I hope not. Everything was 70% off. And I grabbed um, another wreath with tulips because I like the color scheme of the white and the creamy color. I need another white wreath. I think I'll put it in the bathroom. And it was pretty expensive in Joanne's. Like they go up to $100. Most of them are 60. This one was 50 and was 70% off. It came to $14.99. Uh, I should have bought 10 of them. Sell it on eBay, whatever. So one more thing from the Tattered Tulip. It was a cloche. I've been looking for a wired cloche. Not easy to come by here unless you, sometimes you can order them from Amazon. So I wanted to do some kind of grouping in the holidays season, like fall and winter. On my coffee table, I wanted to put, you know, different levels of cloches, some glass, some metal. I thought that would look really cool. And um, this is supposed to be hung up on, on a hook, but I'm not gonna be using it that way. I'll be taking that, this little pot out. I can use it for something else. And I think this was uh, 17 or $18, the tattered tulip again. At the Mercantile, I think we found more stuff at the Mercantile this time than uh, the home store. I grabbed some of these flowers as well. Uh, these brown-eyed Susans. I have blue eyes, but these were cute and they look pretty good. And a little bit of green greenery. And I think they came to like, this whole bunch came to like 12 bucks, all of this stuff. And I was gonna put it in my crock. I couldn't find the proper daisies that looked good. A lot of them look really cheap and nasty. So I might be using the brown-eyed Susans in the crock instead, in the big crock. Now, the little crock on the table, who knows what I do with that. Looks good for a bottle of wine. Some ice at the bottom. So this is the cloches. I got two tall glass cloches in Home Sense. They were $24.99. I grabbed them because I can never find these tall ones. And these are the ones I'm gonna use at Christmas. I've got this one that is really big and tall. I've got two of these. I've got this little one here on a pedestal. I, I just love them, I can't get enough of them. Candlesticks and cloches, I think are my favorite. I bought this like 10 years ago and it wasn't even the, the thing to buy, like the look. And I got this gorgeous one, I don't even know what I paid for it, probably at Home Sense with that wicker straw base. And that might be going on my coffee table in the fall. So I think I might put that big 
crock right here and put those flowers in. They look pretty nice. And use that little wicker wall basket for somewhere else. Who knows, I've got, I've got no more space left. I'm constantly adding things to the walls, every table. Soon there won't be any room for us to live in anymore. That's it for my shopping haul again. I'm going to clean it all up and I'm going to attempt painting that shutter. And what else was I gonna do? Attach that beautiful knob to it and I'll let you see it, how it turns out. distress it. I'm going to sand it down so the bare wood shows. I don't want the green to come through. I don't think, anyway. Mm -hmm. 